I mean, everyone knows the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but have you seen them as actual teenagers? That was obviously the hook line. Like, oh, what if we saw them as actual teenagers? <laughs> hey, guys, if we weren't monsters that were shunned by society and we could do what we wanted, <laughs> what would you guys do? Go to high school? Maybe get a girlfriend? Can you imagine that? Not likely. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Drive by Movies here, and you're watching Fresh Releases. My name is James. My name is Blaze. And this week, I finally saw Oppenheimer in beautiful 70 millimeter IMAX screening. But we're here to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Enough talk! I dream about fighting every night. You've got a rage oh, problem, right? Snap. It's not a problem. Can I shake you? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem follows the story of the Turtle Brothers as they work to earn the love of New York City while facing down an army of mutants. So this synopsis, I, I think, honestly got a little ahead of itself. I don't know if that's <laughs> entirely the film that, that we witnessed. I think that's kind of what they're trying to sell you on. Anyways, James, what do you think of Mutant Mayhem? Yeah, so uh, I absolutely love this movie. Ninja Turtles means a lot to me. I'd say probably out of like this entire VHS collection. Um, I've talked about my favorite movies on our show plenty of times, but I've never we've never really talked about Ninja Turtles. I think we might have did direct to dumpster like part three or something. I could be wrong on that, but um, I watched the original 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles more than any VHS tape here, for sure. And I still own the same one. They mean a lot to me, and this movie just did it right. It just felt so good, and I just haven't had an interest in like revisiting a whole lot of the new like shows, I guess. But the new movies, I've always been curious and still would casually check them out, but never just felt the need to rush into it. But I was really excited for this one, and I just had a blast. It's very rare that I went into a movie with high expectations, and it met them and made me excited, and there was a lot of unexpected fun stuff that I just walked away with, and I honestly can't wait to see it again. What are your thoughts? Yeah, for me, I think going into this, I was a little excited on just obviously the animation style. We watched earlier this summer the uh, new uh, Spider-Verse movie and that absolutely loved, really enjoyed that movie. Obviously, I enjoyed the first film in that series as well. But this one, I'm like, oh, is, are, is uh, Paramount trying to do that kind of thing with their property, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nickelodeon also as well. But are they trying to kind of like do a more maybe serious version or just you know uh, for people of multiple ages not just children and kind of maybe correcting some of the wrongs that maybe Michael Bay committed with the TMNT films mainly just talking about the CGI atrocities that <laughs> that were that I'm sure maybe the movies are all okay and whatever but just the CGI character designs is just I could never stomach that enough to watch the actual film so I can't comment on the the actual films themselves but just the character designs were insane but anyways uh getting to this film i i think that paramount did a great job at trying to tell a really human story whether it is about turtles this was probably the most human story here you got to give credit to seth uh rogan and evan goldberg on telling this story they made it really uh, it's really relatable, I feel like, to anyone. It's just about wanting to belong, whether that's also kind of similar to what the Spider-Verse movies are in a way. It's similar in that sense, but it's just wanting to belong and wanting to be part of something. And it just made these movies, the emotional connection was really there, at least for this film, and I, I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was excellent. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I think, honestly, this was probably one of the surprises of the summer. I remember seeing the trailer and then getting a little Little lukewarm on the trail like all oh, the jokes are just kind of like too much and oh they're like little kids is that going to be enough to stomach for a whole movie but honestly they're hilarious but at the same time like they're still so relatable i feel like to this generation more so than even i can probably relate to because i'm not really part of the generation that they're targeting but even as an, o an older generation like i still really enjoyed this movie and yeah it was just a ton of fun 
Yeah, like, uh, here's the thing, like, modern kids, a lot of them are annoying, but it's to become TikTok famous. These kids, like, you know, they're being kids, but they want uh, the attention just to fit in overall. So that makes it just very fun and relatable overall. Uh, I, like, a lot of people are, like, saying, like, oh, this is the first time we get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as actual teenagers, and they feel like that. Yeah, that's true, but that wasn't really necessarily something that was selling me, but it did just feel very natural and captured I, what I feel like uh, being a kid was even in my my millennial years in high school and stuff too. Like just because like, yeah, they do a lot of stuff like record videos for like TikTok and stuff, make a lot of word or say a lot of words that, you know, uh, us adults don't understand as much like riz and stuff and sus. Despite, you know, I know those words, but just like that's not something that you and I use in our sentences unless we're joking around or something but it came off very natural and just didn't feel out of place it just captured those kind of things but still gave us like uh, any kind of generation some relatability to them as well just with not being able to fit in like because high school is already hard to fit in and it's hard enough that they would be bullied as being like you know not humans and stuff so really like that aspect and all movies have kind of like all the ninja turtle stories have kind of like had that element but just that being the overall main focus of you know the villain character arc also uh a whole reason why splinter has this ideology i wasn't expecting as well too but you know of course there's a lot of character development like i was really surprised to see that there's a lot of kid movies that like you know you need to hear that stuff in kids movies and it's been like since iron giant and old school pixar movies where these kind of things have brought up and like that would have meant a lot for me getting a movie like this as a kid and it was just refreshing to see as an adult yeah most definitely i thought that just seeing a difference like because that's usually not the splinter we get but it was cool to see him and maybe it's like a character trope for kids movies but i did think having especially being voiced by jackie chan that was honestly very special like to see you know this different style splinter and he's definitely like more emotional and that was a lot of the, the major thing for me is like i never really saw teenage mutant ninja turtles as that emotional of like a thing it was always just really cool and that's why i liked it you know but to just see that emotional side of it was really heartwarming at times and uh, obviously relatable uh, something I did really enjoy about this film going back to like even being enjoyable just beyond like the property itself was like the fact that a lot of the characters especially the mutants I mean they're based off the original I would assume comics or cartoons I wasn't really familiar a ton with I mean I watched the cartoons as a kid but I couldn't tell you about what they're about right now but I do remember a lot of these same characters that were like toys almost uh, that that I remember playing with a ton of teen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures as a kid. So I do remember some of those characters as toys. They seem like honestly in this film straight out of the box. And I absolutely love that. Whether that, you know, it's beyond me, whether they were, were part of, uh, you know, the greater franchise, but just seeing things that, you know, I could, I was like, oh man, I really remember playing with those toys or, you know, having just that imagination and creating these characters really jump out of the screen. I thought was something that, you know, really captured my imagination i can only imagine that it's capturing capturing um you know younger uh generations imaginations yeah and we've all like uh speaking of that like yeah i, I kind of had a throwback with the gecko character voiced by paul rudd like i'm not sure if i had an action figure of them but just something about that was just like something i never thought of and was in the back of my head and then when i just saw it in screen I was like, oh my God, I remember that. I'm pretty sure I had an action figure of that. And a lot of people might complain, like, I guess if you're a hardcore, actually, I feel like it's not even the hardcore Ninja Turtles. It's just the Ninja Turtle fans that just like to crap on anything just because everyone else is enjoying it. But just, I know some people are like not happy that so many of the villains from the series or like original comics are in this one movie. And maybe not all of them have something to do and they made them, you know, kind of empathize with the Ninja Turtles too. I just like that different take on it. Like that's the whole point over a movie you can make a different take. Like why would you want to see Civil War, Captain America Civil War exactly page for page and stuff like, yeah, if that comic meant a lot to you, I get it. But just like, but you already know it though. Don't you want to see something kind of new with it? And I like this different take. It felt very like, you know, it felt very natural and like it didn't feel like it was like a bad changes or anything. It just made sense for the story overall. 
Yeah, for me, it just felt very fresh. Like it was a different take on what you know as the Teenage I mean, everyone knows the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but have you seen them as actual teenagers? That was obviously the hook line. Like, oh, what if we saw them as actual teenagers? And we're not talking like teenager teenagers. We're talking like actual teenagers that are in their teens. Cause that's something where you, when you think of the term teenager, it's definitely much older than, you know, the characters that they actually would be. So that it, this movie just honestly, it was one of the surprises. I don't think it was going to rank up there as much as Spider-Verse for me. Honestly, that mm -hmm. just was great this summer and the previous film as well. But uh, I thought that this film was honestly just like a surprise hit and uh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to watch it again. Like I said, uh, it's just a fun watch. And I love that it's a lot shorter than Spider-Verse, at least like, yeah, maybe not as well made or thought provoking, I guess you could say, but it's just such a damn good time watching this movie. It's fun for anyone, even if you're not necessarily interested in action movies or just the Ninja Turtles in general. I know it's a hard sell to a lot of people and stuff like it's always been kind of the weird thing that everyone knows, but like not a lot of people I think are like that crazy for and stuff and just this is the one to be crazy for i feel like and uh for once i just liked a different take on it and it's a lot of fun and i'm actually looking forward to seeing more uh be sure to let us know what you thought about the movie there's a comment section down below a great way to help support the shows by watching the movie and let us know what you thought about it and if you guys haven't already go ahead and smash that like button hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to get all release updates if you can't get enough of us here on YouTube, catch all our updates down below. We got Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, as well as our own personal letterbox accounts. That'll conclude this week's episode. Tune next week for a brand new video.